Hello, people. Hey. Today we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do some makeup. You know what I mean? Some girl stuff. Go. And I've got Go. my daughter Fiona here. She's hey. on YouTube as Manye Fee. Have you got something to say, girl? I do. So today we're gonna be doing my mom's makeup. We're gonna make her look cute. We're gonna look bam bam blau blau. Like <laughs> she's gonna be looking oh, chef's kiss. So without further ado, let's, let's get, get into started. the video. And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment And we stay here forever Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with this facial serum It's from Primark, no sign Basically it just hydrates the skin and I think it's good to use it before makeup Cause you know, mm -hmm. facial skin that's not soft Sounds good, sounds good. So I was gonna put a drop here. <laughs> she looks skeptical, guys. <laughs> she looks skeptical, but trust me, even it though I'm works. not certified, I know why I'm doing it works. Oh yeah, you you are my certified makeup artist. So Facts. Whatever you say goes. So I was gonna use this to moisturize her face really. Mm-hmm. Just moisturize it around. Mm-hmm. Get it on the nose. So you just rub I'm it gonna in. rub it on my face. Yep. It's you will use a fixing spray first to spritz the beauty blender, blender to make it wet. All right. Because it needs to be wet so it can apply makeup a little bit more smoother. Okay. And then we're gonna take this high definition foundation. It's in the shade. It is, guys. It's just a drugstore foundation. Any foundation will work. Just make sure that you know your foundation matches your skin color. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put three dots here and. I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend it. Now, personally, I think the beauty blender is nice because it kind of seeps the foundation into the skin. I think it makes it look a little bit more natural, but obviously, that's just my per personal preference. I'm gonna go around and put this on the chin. Really use this to evenly distribute the foundation if you want you can finish it off with a brush if you, a brush if you think it's too blotchy in the end but I think just using a beauty blender is fine okay so she looking cute guys <laughs> she looking cute cute we're getting places, we're going somewhere. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Right. So now. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna do my mum's eyebrows. I'm gonna use this Incredi Brow little palette here. This is the Incredi Brow palette in the shade Brunette, and I'm gonna use this middle shade here, which is basically just a dark brown. And I'm going to use that to go around my mum's eyebrows and basically just follow her eyebrow shape. Mm -hmm. So guys, listen, if you need to hire somebody to do your makeup, I'm the one. Yeah, I'm <laughs> so I'm just going to me a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to follow the shape of her brow. I'm just going to extend it a little bit because I want to have that sharp edge. Just go around the top as well and drag it down. Now I'm just going to fill it in. You want to fill in the edge of the brow a little bit more than start of the brow because you want to have a kind of ombre effect so it looks a bit more natural and you can just use the remaining product to blend the start of the brow here so just like there obviously if it doesn't look perfect or if it doesn't look sharp enough we're gonna go around it with concealer so it's gonna look you know it's gonna look nice Um, I think it should be a bit more. 
I'm just going to use a bit of the black to go in through the edge of the brow just to make it a bit more darker than the start. I'm just going to use that and blend it in towards the middle of the brow. That. So I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is also in the shade Warm Honey. I'm going to use a flat brush and this is what I'm going to use to conceal the bottom of the eyebrow because we don't want to have no halo brow so we're only going to use it at the bottom of the brow. Okay guys so like I said I'm just going to use this brush I've put it on the back of my thumb and I'm just going to dab it in there. I'm going to use that to go around the bottom of my mum's brow. Stay If you ever feel like your concealer is drying a bit early, you can always spritz your brushes. You can always spritz your brushes to make the, them a bit more damp. And then you can see they will become easier to blend again. Oh, okay, if it's drying up. Yeah. Sing along and I can't help but feel it. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? So I'm just going to use this fluffy brush here because I haven't really got a concealer brush okay. and I'm going to use that to go under my mum's eye and just like distribute the concealer. What I like to do is I like to make a bit of like a right angle from the corner eye and then to create that lifted look I like to drag it upwards from the eye here and make her line so her face looks more like mm -hmm. if that makes sense and you want to do the same for the other side same for this side Look at the camera, please. Looks crazy, but we're not done. We're also gonna add just a little bit here to bring out the chin and a bit here at the top just to bring out the forehead. Forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. going to do is we're going to move on to the contour she's looking like a holy ghost but it's okay <laughs> okay we're gonna we're gonna sort that out so right here we have a bronzer and highlighter stick this is a studio london by super drag and this is in the shade it comes in a pack of three and this is the darkest one because we need the darkest contour so it doesn't actually have mm. a color name but 
yeah we're just going to use the bronzer part of the stick and we're going to go down my mum's cheekbones she already has pretty like nice cheekbones we want to accentuate that so we're going to follow the shape and just drag it down here just so that it brings them out a little bit more so the bronzing stick that i use i think it matches my mum's skin shade a little bit too much as you can see it's not really too much of a difference from her normal skin shade so i'm going to be using this foundation because it's too dark to use as a normal foundation so i use it as a contour this is the double coverage matte foundation it's from primark and it's in the shade hazelnut i'm going to use that once once fluffy brush um to use um as an app to app an applicator and i'm just gonna go over what i did with this stick and use that <laughs> so, so brand new my mom says she looks scary but it's okay we're still gonna move forward <laughs> we're gonna use that shade to just go in and contour my mom's cheekbone ah yeah so you see that line? That's the line I'm going to use the contour. Okay. I'm just gonna use that same one. Let's go. Come. Uh, hi. I'm just gonna go over that here. See that? I'm gonna use the powder to kind of. It will make it a bit more easier to tell the difference. <laughs> It's gonna blend that in, guys. If you have any film, nice. It's not too, too dark. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just right. So just that, ooh, that cheekbone. Mm -hmm. Get that cheekbone in there. Nice. Now nice. I'm going to use this setting powder. It's from Primark. It's the loose mineral powder in the shade Toffee, number ten Toffee. So, I'm gonna take your beauty blender. We're gonna use a beauty blender, guys, and we're just gonna press this. You can close your eyes. We're gonna press this in to the eyeball, and we're gonna follow that kind of shape that we did earlier with the concealer. It looks crazy, I know, but it's in the name of makeup. I beg you to open your eyes for this part because you look scary. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, you just want to uh, just do that. Okay, and then also to make that cheekbone a little bit more, ooh, mm -hmm. we're gonna take the beauty blender and we're just gonna draw a line just underneath the cheekbone, just to really bam bam bow it. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna fill that in. Now I don't want to keep this on too long because as you saw the concealer was very bright so adding the powder and letting it bake for that long will make it a bit too ghosty. <laughs> We're just going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to use that to bring out the cheekbone. You can use a little bit on the chin and on the forehead. Like I said I didn't want to um, spend have the powder on there for too much time so i'm gonna brush them off already just to as uh, something to let the concealer kind of set in place so it's gonna use this big fluffy brush i'm just gonna brush that off right and i'm gonna use this to gently just get it in and you're looking fine mm-hmm looking like a chick hey. fine chick fine fine girl okay <laughs> <laughs> hmm. i'm going to the cinema <laughs> so now that you've just blended that all out her cheekbones are now looking and let's like standing out you get me? How I'm gonna contour her nose is I'm gonna do two lines going down the center, not even down the center, top down the side of her nose. Like that. I'm gonna bring it a little bit more closer to the center because when her nose looks snatched. I'm gonna do the same on the other side too. 
We're just gonna do the same thing here as well. And we're gonna bring her down her nose here. Then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a little line here and two lines here. I'm feeling myself, you know what I mean? I've got a rabbit nose, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna use this small fluffy brush to blend it in. I'm gonna blend this down the nose. Just bring it here. I'm gonna use this to go under this part of the nose too. And then we're gonna go in again with the setting powder there yep. and you're gonna use a beauty blender as well I'm just put a dot of concealer on the tip of the nose and just along the bridge. And I blended it in with my finger just for precise measures. So today guys, the eyeshadow look that we're gonna use for inspiration is this one right here. This is from I Am Shadow. So make sure you go watch that because I'm gonna make it look so it's cute. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna Okay guys, so we're just gonna use the same we're just gonna use the shade latitude which is at the bottom corner here. And we're gonna use it on the outer corner of my mum's eyelid and just blend that into the crease a little bit. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the shade Oracle, which is this really light kind sort of pinkish purplish colour. And we're gonna use that on the actual lid. <laughs> is we're also going to put some of this dark purple underneath the eye and we're going to also use some of this shade here to go on the inner corner of the under eye and we're going to use this shade to go on the outer corner and really like blend it in with the rest of the eyeshadow <laughs> Pride of London Forest Lash Effect. I'm gonna use this on her top and bottom lashes. Adios 
dice que esa mujer El amor que le ha pasado a mí me sin interés Me aprieto pa' que más Ese cruce de miras que solo las dos personas entienden Cuando éramos amigos me parece imposible Y ahora que nos amamos mi vida sin ti sería más que terrible Por que mi amor siento no fue que me enamoró Now, I'm gonna take these false lashes from Sheen. Sheen is your plug, I promise you, with lashes. They're just chef's kiss. Take this, you ate my sandwich from the Revolution um, and Friends palette. I'm gonna use this shade here, you ate my sandwich for highlights. I'm just gonna get there. <laughs> This blush from Vital blush it's a luminous finish in the shade Rogue. We're only gonna use a little bit. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? This is just using the fixing spray. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna spray my client's face. Close your eyes, please. Mm. Nice. Finally, the last thing. I'm gonna use the same shade here for her nose contour. I mean, for her highlight on her nose. Just gonna use that here. Just brightens it up a little bit. Bring it down the bridge of the nose too. Look at that. You can also use some in the brow bone to really bring out the brows like so and that is the finish look she looks cute she looks nice guys like looks nice that looks really nice do you know how much I love you I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feel it Okay guys, so as you can see This is the finished look She looking nice As we said, as we promised She looking bam bam glow Hope you enjoyed Make sure to check out all of my mum's other videos And also come look at my channel too I have some interesting videos And some songs there I love it it looks beautiful. I love it. I think you've done a good job. Okay. Well done. Nice. And thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever?